Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to review the work of Greg Tocchini. Um, he's actually not a concept artist, he's a comic artist and illustrator. Um, he's actually one of my first loves. <laughs> um, he, he's one of the people that actually got me into art, I think, um, uh, along with because I found him back in high school, I think, um, and he was one of the ones, again, that kind of pulled me into this art kind of world, along with Marta Nile. Um, now, Greg Tuchin, I believe, is from Brazil, and uh, yeah, I think it was Greg and Marta Nile. Now, Marta Nile is actually from, I did an art review of her work a few episodes back, um, she's from Spain, I think. Um, and both of them actually got me into this whole um, obsessive addiction that is art. Um, and I actually like the way he draws and paints. Well, he doesn't really paint, um, but he has a certain way of... Well, shit, he does paint. But since he's a comic book artist, he does focus more on the, uh, the drawing side of things. But I've seen a few of his illustrations. And he does work a lot with traditional mediums, um, especially when it comes to like the sketches and the inks. But for his coloring, he does use digital, um, like Photoshop, probably. Um, and here is, is a nice example of his um, pencil sketch. His figures are actually very gestural to me, and I actually like the way he does them. Um, he's not a... Because there is this kind of standard, I guess, when it comes to like comic book types of um, illustrations. Um, Greg, though, I think is kind of like he's made a name, I guess, for himself, or like he's so unique in terms of his style. Um, and he has a series called Low L O W. Um, I don't make well, he he's the illustrator for that comic, I think. Um, but I don't think he's the writer. Um, I can't recall, but he does like have a lot of work. Um, from that um, series that really spoke to me or that really kind of pulled me again in this kind of direction um, and this is an example of his um this is an example sorry of his inks and I think it does work traditionally as well um, he has a few watercolor um, illustrations and I think it's definitely um, it influences, I think, the way he does his digital renderings or colors as well. Um, like, it feels so dynamic, his work in general. Not just in terms of, like, the sketches, the inks, but the whole illustration side as well. And um, he doesn't really have, like, a portfolio side. He does have, like, a blog spot, which is kind of old. Um, he does have a Twitter. Um, I'll be linking all of the relevant links um, in the description below. So these are a few of his character designs. I do recommend you follow him on Twitter because I think that's where he posts more of his um, work. Um, and again, he has a style when painting or drawing the face. Um, he has a way of simplifying it in his own way. And um, he's very heavy on gesture of the body. And that's what's actually very intriguing about his work. Um, and even when he does his inks, it's not like a typical comic book way where it's kind of like tight. It feels very gestural the way he does his um, inks as well. I remember, I think this is the this is the uh, the first piece. Well, not the first piece, but this was a great example of his. Um... This was one of the first illustrations I found of his um, work, or I found of him. Fuck. <laughs> And look at how it's so gestural. Um, he kind of he, he mixes things as well. Um, he mixes a few like lines along with like bold, solid strokes, and it feels very um, gestural, right? I wouldn't say it's impressionistic. I would say it's more gestural. Like that's the best word I can um, use to kind of describe his work. And this is obviously more of an illustration, more of a painting. Um, not a lot of textures. Um, in terms of like, uh, well, there's a bit of texture, but it's not like fully there. Um, a lot of it is kind of mixed in with very solid, um, colors. 
And it's very, very dynamic seeing this thing right now, right? Um, not a lot of view variety, maybe a bit, but it's... He obviously does have like a comic book background, so he's going to be a bit more bold with the colors. Um, but look at that, it's so cool, right? And I like how he mixes in his line work, his gestural lines, along with the painting. It just looks really well done, and uh, he does have his own style, which I do like. Um, so this is more of a oh shit, this is, that's a, uh, I think I saw something there. Oh fuck, um, and he also likes, his covers are also very kind of interesting. Um, they feel very mixed media-ish, but again, it's very gestural in nature. Now, I'm not sure if he does... Maybe he does like a traditional thing in the beginning and then he'll add a few more elements in Photoshop. Um, and again, the way he does the face, it's a bit stylized obviously, but it's very gestural. Not a lot of hard shapes or hard edges or sharp corners. Um, very, very smooth, curvy um, um, figures, which I do like. And it's kind of not ordinary in the comic book world for me. Uh, at, at least based on my observations, it's not very common seeing that. Um, so this is an example of his inks. Um, I think this is... Is this for low, the comic? I, I can't really say, but... Um, I feel like he has more work that's a bit more... Uh, whenever he does his like panels, he doesn't really detail much of it. Um, you could say he leaves it as like he'll just give an impression <laughs> of like a scene and he's not the type of guy that's really into the details which again I do like or I do lean to uh, I lean to artists that are more of the the big picture types and they just kind of like providing the impression or the mood or the feeling of the place and um, details really don't turn me on you know <laughs> like artistically speaking um, and seeing his pencils, his inks, his illustrations or paintings, it's, it, he has that kind of consistency um, in his work. So this is more of a cover piece. I think it did this with watercolors. I think. And look at how gestural th this illustration is, right? The figures are very kind of... It reminds me of a piece uh, by Evan Lee, right? He does... Evan Lee has this, has this piece where... There's this kind of demon and there are like a bunch of ladies just kind of lusting over him. Um, and this has a similar thing. I think he was uh, reading this comic, I think. Or if I'm recalling it right, he's kind of in his... Um, he's kind of like in a simulation. In a simulation. Um, and he's kind of like escaping reality in this kind of scene. Um, and yeah. Um... So this is not exactly the uh, part of the real world in that, in this kind of world, but yeah. It's essentially, he's, he's essentially being in a porn, <laughs> in some kind of porn scene, um, but yeah. And look at the way he does his inks. Like there's this nice transfer between the pencils, the inks, and the colors. Um, he's very kind of artsy that way. And again, I love his expressions when it comes to like the faces and that's I think that's one of the reasons why um, I'm really focusing on studying human anatomy and right now I'm focusing more on heads just because I feel like it, it can say so much about this or it, it can contribute so much to a story and I've seen this a lot especially in or with the work of like comic artists right um, anything that involves kind of sequential art you usually need to have some kind of person in it and um, it just adds more to the scene, right? And even the way he paints and renders, it's very, very bold, dynamic. It's not very kind of refined and rendered. It's more just straight to the point, I feel, right? Now, the colors for this one are actually quite simple. Um, but the inks, the inks actually in this one are a bit tight, right? In this figure, but um, well, not overly tight, right? He doesn't really do the hatching thing. He focuses more on the gesture um, and a bit of contour, but sometimes he'll, he won't even complete like a line. 
he'll just kind of leave it blank sometimes and it does have a nice kind of feeling it's not again it's not very common in comic um art but it looks cool for me you know and look at that face very very expressive right and i love his women um it's very it's, it's semi-realistic obviously a bit stylized but it's it's a kind of style that i think i would love to kind of emulate or go for right um and he has a lot of scenes in his comics in his comic art where they're pretty full of life um and i think he does the colors as well i'm not sure but um it's very very dynamic um and uh, it feels good in the eyes <laughs> And uh, a lot of his panels feel like they could be some kind of wallpaper, right? Um, and again, he's very into the whole sequential um, thing. He He's very good at storytelling, obviously, because he's a comic book artist. And they obviously have like a sense, like a sixth sense when it comes to like um, framing, which is pretty cool. Um, and look at how the scene isn't overly detailed. Even even in, in this environment, it's not like super packed. It feels full, but it's not super like um, detailed. Um, I think the gestures, the inks, and the colors, they're just enough to kind of really make it feel packed, but it isn't, you know? It's really, it's, um, it's a bit abstract in some areas, and he kind of just leaves you to kind of imagine the rest. And I do like the kind of approach. Um, What's really primary about this work is the story, um, which I am a fan of, um, right? It doesn't really have to be detailed or fully rendered for a story to kind of create some kind of impact. Um, so this is another example of this illustration, the same with, um, it's similar to this one, shit, right? He does, he does have a few textures, but a lot of the, like, 80% of it is, like, solid color. Um, and he mixes it with a few, like, line strokes, gestural line strokes. Um, and again, very dynamic. The pose is dynamic. The way it's drawn is dynamic. The way it's rendered or painted is dynamic. And, um, fuck. Um, and look at the inks, right? It's not, like, um, a typical comic um panel and he does exaggerate the forms a bit he's very very in uh into the whole foreshortening thing um he likes to kind of pull the arm further back and it it adds a bit of a it contributes even more to that kind of dynamic sense um and again his women is pretty cool very very um sensual right um and it's pretty good with simplifying the face Sometimes he'll actually ignore the nose, um, especially in, in a kind of front view, which is pretty cool. Um, um, and maybe I should go back and study his, um, his work when it comes to like human anatomy, because he knows he, he has a way of simplifying it again. Um, even the hand here is pretty gestural, right? It's very curvy and expressive. Um, but then again, most comic book artists do that same thing where Mo even the hands are kind of um, expressive. The same thing when it comes to like manga or anime. Um, they're very kind of expressive. Um, and the coloring, I should also kind of study that because it's not exactly painted, but it does have a nice kind of... There seems to be a lot of gradients in his work, even though it's kind of simple. Like there's this cool side and there's this warm side, but in between that, there are like a lot of gradient um, gradients, right? This kind of a uh, subtle shifts in um, values and hues. Um, so this is in the uh, the uh, different website characterdesignreferences.com. Again, he doesn't have like a portfolio, like art station website, um, but we can scroll through his work quickly or cycle through his work quickly. So I think this is more of a traditional piece. Um, and even doing stuff like this, I feel like, is something I would love to do. Because you're kind of telling a story, right? Um, in this way. Um, notice how there's no background here. Um, it's just like a like an evolutionary thing going on here. But um, this feels kind of relatable in a way, right? 
I think this is a watercolor piece. Um, oh, I, I think we did show this earlier. And look at the inks, right? It's not the whole scene isn't it isn't fully inked, and even in the inks, it's not like the more you go further out, it becomes more loose, and that's not a common thing. And again, comics, you know, there it's a bit tight, it's a bit highly done or highly uh, what's the word? Highly detailed. Um, but for him, it does it. He has his own way of doing things, and he's kind of. I think that's why he's so unique. And his style is actually so it's it's what sets him apart, you know. Because sometimes in comics, people can look so similar, and it kind of makes the whole um, art world become boring, you know. Um, so, and again with panels like these, I mean, Christ, um, PLX to simplify the colors, um, but again they do have that variety. Um, they tend to be analogous. They're kind of just in the same kind of um, side or temperature, right? This whole th scene is more warm than cool, um, but it has enough variation to make it look interesting. Um, and again, it's a nice. It's, he he likes to balance the line work with the colors, um, and yeah. And even the line work isn't fully like inked, like fully black. He likes to add some color to it in some areas. So it kind of doesn't make it so contrasted, you know? And if you're kind of focusing on the background, shit, let's go back. If you're focusing on the background, it, it isn't so detailed. It's very, very gestural even, right? Um, he's just focusing on like the main shapes and then the colors kind of take it further a bit, but that's pretty much it. Um, even with the ship, it's so simple, kind of. Um, the line work, but the lighting kind of makes it more um, interesting, I guess. Um, Batman. Um, so I think these, these are more watercolor types of artwork. Um, and again, very gestural way of painting, illustrating. Oh. Oh. And he has like a nice process because I think he does mainly. Um, traditional work in the beginning and then as he finishes his illustrations or coloring he'll do it obviously in the digital kind of um, setting or mode right and it doesn't matter if he's doing tradi traditional or digital he has a, a, sim uh, a, si a similar way of rendering um, so it's still kind of he's still very notable in that way despite his change in mediums um, again, if there's a common thing in his work, it's that it's very dynamic and gestural when it comes to the sketches, the inks, and the painting or coloring, right? Look at that. Now, this one does have more blacks in it. Um, this is very typical in comics, but uh, this is actually very rare um, in his work, I found. Um, or at least in, his, in, his, uh, in the Low series, L-O-W series. Um... And this one has more blacks again. This one has a bit, but it's not super strong. Um, um, sometimes you, uh, when it comes to the background, people would still ink the background and they would just use like a lighter line weight. But for him, he'll just let it. He'll just paint it, I guess. Sometimes, and it's kind of a nice um, look. It has a mixed media kind of effect, right? Um, this one's pretty different. Um, I'm not sure what project this is, but again, gestural lines. But I don't think he colored this one. Um, right? But <coughs> sorry, sorry. But you can tell by the inks, it's him. When it comes to the figures, very curvy, very gestural. Um, and when it comes to the background, he he keeps it simple. Sometimes he'll do like overlapping lines. It's actually more like a, uh, a sketch and he's not afraid to uh, do that kind of thing. Um, it really shows his kind of confidence. Um, obviously in, in, in the areas of focus will be a bit slightly more tight, but not too tight, but it's, you can tell the difference be between the background and the, the thing that's in focus. Um, so more watercolor stuff. Now this one is an ink along with some nice colors, right? 
This one has more blacks in it. Very, very inkish. Oh, it's low. L O W. Um. Okay. Oh, I remember seeing one of his um panels in the in that in the low series. He was able to create this kind of orgy scene or orgy scene, orgy scene. It was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty interesting, and um, I, I just loved the way he did like the bodies. They were all so amazing, um, and very gestural, right? Nothing was kind of tight, and you, it, it felt like you could. It was so easy on the eyes, right? So, hopefully, I can achieve the same thing with my own work um, one day. So, I mean, look at this pose. Very dynamic. And again, not all of the, the lines are black. He likes to uh, color them um, a bit and kind of make them match the colors, like this, the solid flats. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, so cool. Even the way he drew the face here, like he knows how to, again, simplify it. Um, even this, this hand is pretty cool. And this hand, very gestural. Um, damn. Uh, this one's more of a Marvel thing. Um, oh, this one's more of an illustration. And again, he likes to mix the this the, this kind of bold painting style with some gestural line work. Um, oh, I think she's underwater, right? Very just he is also pretty good with the folds. Um and again a lot of his like flat coloring style is it, it's it doesn't have too much um contrast. Some um or maybe maybe I'm saying that wrong. I think he likes to keep it simple um when it comes to his um, coloring style. Um like he doesn't overpopulate the page with colors. So I think it helps with um making the page easy to read, right? Again, very awesome figures here. Um, oh, fuck. Damn, right? Marvel, right? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um... Again, look at those lines though. Very, very gestural. Um, and very brush-like. It's not like a like a mechanical pencil or a... Uh, he's not using some kind of... Um, like, think of... He's not using a fine liner. He's, us he's using more of a brush. And I think it helps contribute to that gestural kind of feeling. It's very... I, I, it, 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 it's easy to f kind of follow, right? Um... Christ. Um, look at that. Um, there's a bit of contrast. You can see some blues or some cooler things or cooler hues in the background. But the foreground is mostly kind of uh, warm. Um, and it gets more kind of purplish in between. Um, but again, look at the nice balance of line work. And not all of the lines are kind of black. Some are kind of colored. Um, along with the flats, the flat colors. Um, very, very nice. Um, obviously, sh since she is the main focus, she will have a bit more contrast. You can tell um, there there are more kind of blacks in her, right? In terms of the inks. And of course, you can tell in this area, it's a bit light. So there's this nice contrast between this kind of glowing area and the actual um, figure, right? Or her, essentially. Um. Damn. Nice pose. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. Now this one is just like a simple, or the colors are just under one range. But yeah, look at that. Ah, this is so sexy though. Oh, look at the, that leg, that pose. Damn. Um. So this is another example of his panels. Um. I mean, look at those inks, though. Look at how it's not even super clean. The main thing is the story, 
um he's a great example of that um and again when it comes to like typical comic book stuff comic book art um i think a lot of artists focus too much on the details and it kind of detracts the detracts from the story from the narrative um and to me i actually don't like that kind of thing where it's where it becomes so like the story because like the illustration is the story and not vice versa wait am, am i saying that right um i feel like it's not contributing to that sequential um art right like each panel or each kind of thing should not be like a full illustration right and i think sometimes people can focus sometimes say too much on the ink work and it becomes so like heavy on the eyes right but with Greg's work, it's a bit more flowy, more gestural, more dynamic, and again, easier on the eyes. And so pretty. Like it has an appeal, right? And again, with this chick, look at how the hair is not even like black. Um, he did kind of make it kind of similar to the hair here. So it's kind of in the same range. Uh, um, and yeah. Um, so yeah, I do recommend you check out his work. Um, I'll link his Twitter and other similar websites in the description below. And look at how this ink part was done. Very, very sketchy, very gestural, very bold, dynamic. Even in this area, everything pretty much is simple. Or more gestural, sorry. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I think the writer is Remender. Remender? Fuck. So yeah, I think Greg did color these, right? I think so. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching um, this episode of the art review series. Um, ah, keep painting and stay free.